The Mackay Daily Mercury has been printed in various incarnations since 1867, and for one of its former editors, the decision to switch off the presses for good is a sad headline to read. I don't like to see newspapers closing their print editions. It'll be hard, hard for a lot of old people who aren't used to the digital variety of things. The ripples of today's decision will be felt across the country. While News Corp's big names, such as the Australian and its Metropolitan Daily tabloids, will still be available from local news agents, names such as the Mackay Daily Mercury and Warwick Daily News in Queensland will shift online, as will Brisbane's Quest News outlets in places such as Logan and Redcliffe. Papers up and down New South Wales, from Byron Bay to Wagga Wagga, and across suburban Sydney are affected, all of Greater Melbourne's leader newspapers will go online, some closing altogether, and all of South Australia's messenger titles will go digital, along with news from the Red Centre. Today I feel more heartbroken about the community that have found out they're not going to have a paper in a month's time. The coronavirus crisis has taken a sledgehammer to already diminished advertising revenue, prompting News Corp to make the drastic decision. The company's pledging 375 journalists will continue to chase yarns in local communities across the country, but warns job losses are inevitable. Yes, there will be staff leaving the organisation and uh, we're not shying away from that statement. The figure could be around 150 uh, journalists. The federal government described it as a difficult day for the industry, the minister noting he was very interested to see that News Corp delivers on that promise to continue to serve local communities with news and information. They're an important part of the fabric of those local communities. Some analysts suggest 200 newsrooms and media outlets across Australia have either closed or shrunk in size since January last year. BuzzFeed Australia and 10 Daily shut their news sites as recently as last week, while Newswire AAP could be saved, with a consortium looking to buy the business. Today's announcement comes as Australians are turning back to traditional media in droves, looking for news they can trust. But the commercial reality is they're not paying much for it, nor are the advertisers vying for their growing attention. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.